Okay, welcome back everybody. Um, so first off, before we start, uh, this is uh, the continuation of the last run that we s you saw. And um, when I reloaded it, it, it kicked me back into the last treasure room after the boss. I did the same thing, I picked the Astrolabe. And then uh, I picked the same cards as before, I picked the, the one that... Um, the curse we had, it gave me this curse instead, Wraith, uh, which is uh, unplayable and innate. So we start with it in hand, but otherwise it doesn't do anything. It's better than the one we had before, I think. And then we got the same two again, so I don't know, it seems like uh, some of it was this, the same roll. That's either in, insane luck or some of it was pre roll but apparently this one was not, I don't know. Anyway, so that the only thing that changed is the curse from that spot. Okay. Now the new floor here. We got four at the start here. We got full health. We need to find a shop. Let's see the shop here. Mm, maybe I'm going for this shop here instead. Because we are at full health. We don't really need to be in a shop right now. So let's see if we want to get to this one. We don't want to go through two shops. So we monster, 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 and then shop. Then elite. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we do get a chest. I'm just looking here. We can't get more than one chest going in. Uh, the, the rest sides are still really good because we can upgrade that one card multiple times. This is an interesting path. You don't get any choices at all. The entire uh, level, that's kind of interesting. So if you wanted to go on that one, it's not super bad. There's no shops on that line though. No, not at all. Okay. So that one's out of the question. I think we are going for this one here. If we go out here, then there's only this one shop up here. No, I like this one here. Uh, yes. Let's go for it. Let's get some combat going. Oh my god, I hate the thieves. They run away and they steal your resources. That's the two, two worst things that they absolutely can do. Uh, let's see, blind. Apply too weak. Uh huh. Marker or looter, what's the difference? I guess there's not any difference really. Get the offering, which I could use right now. Just to. Uh, yeah, I think I like that. We're full health, and we are going to regenerate some of it if we can optimize. And because they're running away and stealing our money and stuff, we want to be, be doing better. So I'm going to just do the offering right away. I want to upgrade that so it doesn't hurt us as much. We can go weak, weak and vulnerable, but we want to deal damage here. But now we got five uh, mana. I'm doing the blind, because why not? Uh, let's go for the one with the most uh, HP, so we can try to kill the other one. Uh, let's see... We should probably go with one defend at least. We're doing the anger. We are doing the anger, for sure. Because why wouldn't we? Then we're doing one defend. We're doing... They are both exhausted. Could do the shockwave. It's not bad. I don't want to do the pommel. That's 8 damage. It's not really... I mean... Hmm. Since they're running away, we might as well just go in on getting the damage. We're not going to draw it again anyway. So I'll do it. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, and then, of course, I should have done the vulnerable first, because that would have been better. So that's kind of my bad. Uh, we are doing 3 weak and vulnerable. Let's look at it. Yeah, it stacks with the other one here, that's good to know as well. Now we're only taking seven. Oh, taking seven from each. And uh, that's 14. We have six here. I could get up to 12. Or we could deal nine damage. I think I want to deal the damage because we want to get them off the field. Before they steal all of our monies. Give me your gold. No, I don't want to give you my gold. So we are going to take some damage from this combat. That's okay though. I mean, it's not, but what can I do? Rage. Whenever you play an attack this turn, gain 6 block. A 
and then we're doing Rampage and Strike. Yeah, that makes sense. So that's interesting. This is a... Let's see here. Dexterity can improves block gain from guards, and Iron Wave is upgraded, but Rage is not, because you don't get the block from the card. Ah, right, you get it from the attacks, I suppose. Mm. I'm not sure I would agree with how that worked, but why not do this Rage, and then hit that guy twice. There you go. Could we have killed him? I think yes. Ah, uh, maybe I did that wrong then. Mark, uh, yeah, because now he's losing five, uh, five, sorry, 15 gold because of that. Yikes. Uh, they're still fighting. Exhaust one card, draw three cards. 27 damage, but uh, th that's completely overkill for the looter. So that's kind of interesting. We can draw three cards. I think we are gonna do that. Let me think about this. Yeah, we are. Because we could draw a normal strike, which would be better, and then we can... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're doing it. Choose a card to exhaust. We won't get any use out of the barricade this combat, so I'm putting it out. Uh, let's see here. Armaments. That was a bad draw. So we still have to use the Searing Blow. Just on that one guy. And I'm gonna take 12 damage. Or I just block all of it and we don't kill anyone and they steal from us again. Ah, come on. This is, uh, this is bad. We need more attacks in the deck. So at the end of this combat, hopefully I can get us a defensive, sorry, an aggressive card. Because apparently we've got too much defensive going on. It's only really a problem against uh, types like these. Now we want to just murder him because he's not attacking us. So let's do... There's no other things. No. Uh, yeah. Just all the attacks. And we can do whatever block. Because we can't do anything else. And now he's running away. 11 block. I don't think we can stop him. No. Uh, and flame. Bash. That is all the damage I can do. Yeah, I can see I definitely made some mistakes with building my deck. I think... I mean, it, it's my, mostly an, an issue against guys like these uh, that run away, I suppose. Um... Stolen back. And they steal even though we block and stuff. Stolen back. Ah, so we get the gold back if we manage to kill them. That's very nice. Alright, so let's get an attack for sure. Here's an attack. Headbutt. Deal 6 damage. Place a card from your discard pile on top of your draw pile. Oh, that's really good. We can get the Searing Blow back. It's gonna be that one. Place a card from top of... Yeah, that's decent too, but doesn't deal any damage. And the Thunderclap, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind getting it, but the headbutt is definitely better. So we can get the the super card back. Locked. Okay, let's do the next combat. This is a oh shelled parasite and the plated armor gains 14 block at the end of its turn. Losing Hopi from an attack reduces Plated armor by one. Okay, so it it gets armor every turn, and every time we hit it, it gets less armor. What's this? Master of Strategy. Draw three cards. Exhaust. So this would be a uh, battle where we could throw down the barricade. It's a little bit unfortunate that it attacks in the first round here. And we've got a lot of other stuff. But since it's so tanky... We might want to do that. Maybe I, uh, maybe I don't throw this. Just uh, let it go in the discard pile. We can get it later when we draw it. Then so I just want to play the barricade. So, but we could draw the anger. I should do this more and just 
we familiarize ourselves with what we can actually get. Yeah, the only thing I would want to draw otherwise is the anger, and you know, we can get that next turn. Let's try the barricade. Uh, it doesn't do anything this turn, of course, which is kind of sad. We take the 10 damage, but then we can start just using how, however much defend we can get. Or, oh boy, 18. Yikes. So we're doing the two defense for sure. Oh no. How, what would I get from playing the burning pack right now? Not really anything. So we're taking six damage again. And we haven't dealt anything to him. This is this how we die? I don't hope so. Frail. Frail. Gain less block, of course. And he's doing attacks again. Upgrade a card for the rest of combat. Offering. Then we lose HP. But I think we could gain more from playing it. I really need to upgrade that one. Oh! Right. So we upgrade offering. Take less damage that way. Then we play it. Play the anger. Oh yeah, we'll do this one. Then whenever we play an attack, and yeah, now it combos. Now we're getting all the block here. We'll do the headbutt. Uh, can I look here? Oh, I can. Yeah, we can get the searing blow back. All right. So attack with the headbutt. Go for a searing blow on top of discard, on top draw, of course. And then we still got two more attacks here, so I'll do strike. And strike. Look at how much. And now it carries over. Let's see it in effect. I'm looking forward for that. To that. Taking 12 damage. Putting us down to 16. But it stays up. That is beautiful. And then power through becomes really good. But we don't need it right now. The shockwave would be nice. But I want to do the serum blow, of course. That's why we did that whole thing. So let's do like this. I don't want to all the wound cards right now. Eighteen damage is pretty insane. Now it's doing twelve. Oh, we're only gaining four blocks still. How long does that frail stay? Yikes. And we are not dealing a whole lot of damage to that guy at all, actually. Are not no. We have. I think we will win, but it's. Uh, we are going to be taking damage this turn as well. Six more. He's a rough one. We're doing the rage and then attacking. But of course, we can't really. Burning pact. Hmm. Searing blow would deal... Can we kill him? No. We could do the rage, but then we won't. Can I look? Oh, I can look here as well. Oh, the frail is going away slowly, but it, he keeps reapplying it, of course. Oh, boy. A buff and attack, so he doesn't reapply it this turn. Four block. It's doing 10 damage. Uh, so it would be better to play this and then play the Searing Blow. We get 6. That seems to be unaffected by... Yeah. Rage. Then Searing Blow. Yeah, we gain 6. Aha, uh -huh, so it goes around the Frail. That's very useful. Still gonna be taking four damage this turn. He keeps armoring up. Uh, let's look here. No defensive cards at all. Can we kill him though? Eight. He's got nine. It's Twenty-six plus nine is thirty-five. Eight. Eight. We cannot kill him. So let's do the Master of Strategy now. This is good. 
do the anger, of course. Uh, let me check. We could upgrade the anger first. I wanna do armaments and defend. For sure. And then we wanna do some attack afterwards. Probably, what, what does the upgrade one here do? Just more damage? We're doing a rampage then. Then defend. Rampage and anger. So we're taking no damage this turn. Doing 12 damage again. I should have done the shockwave earlier, but now I think it might be too late. Let me look at it. Uh, the power through. I really should use it. Then we have 16 armor. I don't really need more. Shockwave. I mean, there's no penalty for us right now to extend the combat in extending the combat so let's just do it and uh, do our whole uh, outlasting strategy here still got eight armor going he's dealing less damage now yeah uh, so let's do in flame and follow up with anger I should have done bash first, of course. But I'll do it now. I was too vulnerable. We still haven't gotten rid of his plated armor fully. That's kind of insane. He's pretty strong, that guy. Shelf parasite. But now we should be able to kill him. Come on. We cannot. We can do rage. That won't matter at all. Okay. Regardless of how we do it. Uh, yeah, so again, the rage, having that entices us to have more attacks in the deck. So we should focus more on that, of course. Uh, let me see. Why, why not? We'll do that. Play that. He's got 1 HP. But he's going to be doing no damage to us. Rage wears off. Yeah, of course. Blocked. Weak wears off, but now we should be able to kill him. Uh, yeah, any strike will do. Alright, that was a rough fight. Let's see what we can get here. Dual wheel pommel strike. I like that. Oh, I really like that. Seeing red. Yeah, we, we are. Oh, they are already upgraded. So that means they can't be upgraded further. And it also means they already are upgraded, of course. Seeing red is damn good. Getting more energy to play cards. I'm taking that. There's no choice. More fight. What's this? Lose all frail, vulnerable, and weak. Huh. Shockwave is nice right now. Uh, what else do we have? Iron Wave. They are all doing a buff. Oh, I've seen these guys before. They are going to be buffing themselves with the uh, thing, the one where they keep getting stronger and stronger. So, yikes. Yeah, we want to deal more damage early on then. For sure. So let's do a week. Maybe take the one with the lowest hit points and just try to focus one down early on. Lose all frail, vulnerable, and weak, but that's not something we have. So what do we want to... Oh, it's not even an exhaust, so we, we would get it back regardless. Is that right? Let's do the bash here. Then, uh... Headbutt. Yeah, it, it goes into the discard bot, that's what I was wondering about. So if we do the headbutt, then... We... Don't... Oh, okay, just pick one uh, from the... Card, this card, of course. And panic here. Yeah, I don't know. No, I'm not risking not getting it back. But I think it does go into this card pile. 
incantation. Yeah, ritual, ritual, and the ritual. That is pretty insane. And now they're all attacking. Uh, upgrade a card. And gain block. So we are doing that one, of course. Uh, upgrade this 21 block. I love it. Taking it. Uh, so no damage going in this turn, but we can't deal more damage. We can deal. We can inflame ourselves to increase our future damage level. Still, that's uh, 18 going in. But we're not carrying over our block at the moment. So maybe that was actually a bad play by me, because we didn't need that much. Vulnerable wears off. So now they're all getting stronger. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this battle here. Searing Blow will deal 29. We could kill one guy with that and gain 6 block in the main in doing that. Or we could do... I think we're doing that one. That might be the best one. So let's play the Rage. Then Searing Blow, the one we can kill. My powers were matched, yeah. Oh, but these guys are gonna murder us soon. They're doing 18 again, so that's 12 this turn. And they keep getting stronger. I think this is another case where the offering is just... It's better if we can play more cards. Uh, so... Let's see if we can focus down one dude here. We don't need to draw more cards, do we? Oh, but we would gain this one, so yeah, we definitely do. Interesting, and we draw the defend there. And then one more card from here. So let's do that combo thing. That's uh or we would we would draw this next turn. So wait a minute. Wait a minute, return. How are we looking here? It's 24. We can do 18, 18, uh, 24, 32, I cannot kill one of them, and they would do 24, we can block for 12, yeah, we do have to do the burning pact, I think, interesting how this is working out, oh, we are being pressured very hard on the second floor here. Ah, uh, Jesus. So, wait a sec. I want to play Rampage first. Because it goes in the discard pile. Then we have a chance to draw it when I play the Burning Pact. Do one big combo turn here. I might just do a defend out because we are going to draw one more and I need the damage to try to focus one of them down and we got the rampage again so seeing red wait a minute we just play this one here that's for sure how much mana do we have two more we are doing the anger and we have 16 damage here we can't we can't kill him Damn it. Okay, let's do Seeing Red. It's gonna be exhausted, that's fine. All the damage on this guy, it's so close. Five away from killing him. That would have been so good. We're gonna be down to four HP. Wow, I think we're gonna die. I think we're gonna die. Depends on what cards we draw. We can kill the one of them. I just don't see... Upgrade a card. Iron Wave. Gains more block then. Okay. And we could kill that guy with it. Uh, then I could also... Wait a minute. What did I just play? The block thing. So we are gaining some block. That's what I want to see. I don't 
remember. It's at 5. And we have 15. Now we have to upgrade this. I don't even think it's enough. We only have the two mana. That yeah, was a bad draw. I needed one some one more defend or something. Here. Oh, we are gonna survive then. Fourteen. Uh I'm gonna play this? It doesn't matter because it goes in discard. I wanted it to be exhausted so we didn't draw it again. Okay, there's a chance that we are surviving this. Depends again on the draw, but oh he's doing eighteen. And I can't kill him. No, we're dead. We are dead. Let's go down swinging, and that is the end of the first run in the Slay the Spire. Wow, that was uh, not what I expected at all. Damn, I thought we had a good thing going here. As you sow, you shall reap. Lost climbed 20, enemy slain, 7 defeats, 1-1. One, one. No unlock? Unlock, okay. New character. Uh, okay. Well, that's uh, that's it for the second episode. And the next episode, we'll try the new character, of course. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.